Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Let's take a look at the protected files feature from Tribe Apprentice. As you can see, when you get to the Tribe Apprentice dashboard, you will have a new section here in the left sidebar. Now this is called protected files and the feature was created in order to provide our course creators a way for them to protect the files uploaded to their websites. With this feature, any file that you might include as a resource for your courses to be provided to your students or participants will be secure and protected from being shared by students or course participants with other people that don't actually have access to your content. This means that a student, for example, that has access to your course will easily be able to download the resources associated with that course. However, if they decide to share the downloadable link, this will be protected and will not allow someone who doesn't have access to that resource to download it. And as you might know already, protecting a course can already be done by adding that course to a Tribe Apprentice product and then setting up the access requirements for that product. But by protecting your files as well, you can deepen the process and make sure that the files that are included into your courses can only be shared with the users that have access to that Tribe Apprentice product. So when you first land on this section, you will see this pop up with some instructions regarding protected files and you can click on these cards right here to get further instructions on how to actually share your protected files. But we're also going to go through the steps in this tutorial. So I'm going to close this pop up for now. And as you can see, I have already protected two files right here. Now we are going to go through the process of protecting a file and then in the second part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can share those files. So actually have your users be able to download the files safely and securely. So in the section, what you can see is that you will have a search box right here where you can, of course, search for the files that you have protected. And you can also filter the search results by selecting the Trev Apprentice products that are actually protecting these files. All right, let's jump right into it and see how to protect a new file. First of all, in this section right here, you can simply drag and drop a file if you want to do that, or you can just click on this add file button. When you do that, a pop-up opens and from here we will set up our new protected file. Of course, we're going to start by adding a title. So once we have our title, just keep in mind that this is going to be inherited when the file is downloaded. So the downloaded file name will be this one. And now we will have to choose the product which is going to protect this file. So as I said, files will be protected by Tribe Apprentice products and their access requirements. Of course, if you click on this field, a list of all your Tribe Apprentice products will appear here. And when you choose a product, this means that this file will be protected by the access requirements of this product. So for example, in my case, this product has a WordPress user role set as the access requirement, which means that my product is accessible by the people that have subscribed on my site. So you only have to be logged in to access this product that contains a course. And once I add this specific file to be protected by this product, that means that only the subscribers of my site will be able to actually download this file. Now, if you need to customize anything within the product, you can simply click on this manage products button, which will take you to the products section of Tribe Apprentice. And of course, from this section right here, you can just drag and drop the file to be protected or click on select file, which of course will let you browse through your computer to upload the correct file. All right, so once you've also added the file, you can simply hit the save button, which will add your file to the list of protected files. Once you've added one or more files in this list, you will see that each one has its own options that will appear when you hover over one of the files. So the first one would be to share your file because of course it will not be enough just to protect the file. You will also have to share it with your students or course participants. So the way to share a file will be explained in the second part of this tutorial after we go through all of the remaining options. 
but if you click on this option again just like in the previous pop-up you will be taken to these two cards that will show you how to share your files basically how you can add them to a page or post from your website or as lesson resources now we'll get to this in a moment before that as i said we're gonna go through all of these options so we also have the admin download button right here which will let you from the back end of tribe apprentice download the file if you want to do that and then you also have an edit button and if you click on it you'll see that this pop-up will open which is the same one that we used when setting up the protected file initially lastly you will have the remove button which of course will let you delete the protected file once you click on it, you will simply have to confirm if you want to go through with the removal. So basically, this is how you protect the file and you make sure that people that don't have access to your actual Tribe Apprentice product will not be able to get a hold of this file. Now, let's see how and where we can add these files. First of all, they can be added as downloadable URLs to any Tribe Architect page or post or other content type as well as Tribe Apprentice lessons. Besides that, protected files can also be added as lesson resources from the backend of your course. Now, we're gonna go through each option. Firstly, I will show you how you can add the files as links or buttons in pages, posts, or Tribe Apprentice lessons. And then we're gonna see how we can add them as lesson resources. I'm gonna go ahead and open a regular landing page using the Tribe Architect editor. All right, so this is one of my pages that I have created. And as you can see, there's not much going on here. I've just added this text. And what I want to do is add a button right here, which if someone clicks on, a download will start immediately with some Photoshop templates. Now, of course, I want that button to be linked to one of my protected files so that if someone's not logged in on my website, they do not get access to my file. So the download will not work for them. What I will have to do is, of course, start by adding a button and I will add it right here and just customize it. And once you have customized your button, what we'll have to do is link this to one of our protected files, which is very easy to do. So what we have to do is go to the button link section from the main options in the left sidebar and go to the dynamic link option. Here as a source, we're going to select protected file from this dropdown. And once we do that, the second field will open the list of the protected files that we have added to Tribe Apprentice. Make sure you also click on insert here and then the dynamic link will be added and then just make sure to save your page and after that if we preview the page we can test everything out and of course clicking on this button will immediately start our download i want to show you how to do the same thing but add the protected file as a download url this time instead of a button and how to add it to a Tribe Apprentice lesson. So this is my course. I'm gonna go to the content tab and go to one of the lessons, let's say this one, and I am going to hover over my lesson and click on add content. And this has opened my lesson in the Tribe Apprentice editor and in this post content section right here, I can add my content. I'm going to quickly add a text element here and customize it. And once I've added my static text, I'm going to go ahead and add the protected file as dynamic text. So this is going to be the static part. And now I am going to go to the top panel right here where the dynamic text option can be found. And I will choose protected file as my dynamic text source. And just like in the case of a button, the second field will let me choose my protected file. And of course, I'm going to click on insert. And as you can see, this has added my dynamic text, which just like in the case of the button, will start the download for the people that have access to this course and Tribe Apprentice product. I'm gonna save the lesson and preview it. And again, if I click on this link, we can see that the download has started. So as you can see, there are plenty of ways in which you can share your protected files throughout your pages, posts, lessons, and so on. And you can do that by using dynamic links or buttons. Now, I also want to show you how you can add the protected files as lesson resources. And for that, I'm going to go back to my course. All right, so I'm back in the backend of Tribe Apprentice. I'm going to access my course and go to the content tab. 
and let's go for the second chapter this time. As you know by now, you can add resources to your lessons by hovering over this edit button right here and by clicking on add resources. This pop-up will open and you can set up your resource. I'm going to click on add resource and here you have a few different options. And as you can see, one of them will be the protected file option. If you click on it and click on the second field, you will see that again, we will have a list of all of our protected files. So you can just go ahead and choose one. And then if you want, you can also add a description. Once you're done here, you can click on save. And this lesson will now contain the resources. Let's go ahead and preview it and see how that looks. So as you can see at the end of the lesson, we will have the lesson resources. This is the description that I've just added. And we also have a download button right here. And if we click on it, of course, the download will start. Now, these are the ways in which you can share your files once you have protected them. Now, what happens when someone doesn't have access to a protected file and finds one of these download URL links, for example, if the file is protected by a product, but someone who doesn't have access to the product tries to download the file, they will be taken to a no access page and this behavior will be inherited from the login and access restriction settings that you have set up here. You can, however, choose what happens at a product level. So if you go to your product and open it, you are able to choose the access restriction rules for each product. So this is going to be also inherited when someone tries to download your protected files, but they do not have access to your product. This will also apply there. So just to show you what I mean, I've taken this page where I've just added this button that will start the download of one of my protected files and opened it in an incognito window. Now, if I click on it, you will see that the download will not start. And what happens is that I am taken to my login or register form for my website, which is because this is the default behavior that has been set up from my tribe apprentice settings. These are the ways in which you can protect your files as well as how you can share them with your students or course participants. Hopefully this tutorial was useful and make sure to check out the rest of the tutorials and articles from our knowledge base and YouTube channels to get even more familiar with Tribe Apprentice and Tribe Suite products and features. Oh.